In the first quarter, Apple faced a significant setback in China, shipping nearly 4 million fewer iPhones compared to the previous year, trailing behind Honor and Huawei as per IDC data. Despite these challenges, Apple continues to hold the crown in China's premium smartphone segment for handsets priced over 600 US dollars. However, it's seeing its market share erode in favor of rivals like Honor and Huawei. In a twist, during the month leading up to June 20, Huawei's smartphone sales soared by 42%, even with minimal discounts, yet Apple managed to outperform in sales value. How will Apple adapt its strategies to reclaim its dominance in this fiercely competitive market? And can Huawei sustain its upward trajectory with its aggressive sales tactics? Stay with us as we delve deeper into the dynamics of this rivalry and what it means for the future of the smartphone industry in China. Apple's leading position in China's premium smartphone segment faces competition from domestic contenders, such as Huawei Technologies, which has been subjected to U.S. sanctions, according to recent findings by industry consultancy IDC. In the first quarter, smartphone shipments in China increased by 6.5% to 69.3 million units. IDC data revealed that Apple shipped 10.8 million iPhones during this period a decline from 14.7 million units in the previous quarter. The U.S. tech giant, which led the smartphone market in the final quarter of 2023, experienced a decline in market share to 15.6%, from 17.8% year-over-year in the latest quarter. This placed it behind Chinese brands Honor and Huawei, capturing 17.1% and 17% of the market, respectively. These findings from IDC align with a recent report from CounterPoint, which also noted Apple's shrinking market share, though CounterPoint ranked Vivo and Honor as second and third, respectively. Antonia Wang, vice president of IDC China, observed that Apple is facing heightened competition despite its efforts to boost sales through price reductions. Wang emphasized that foldable phones will play a crucial role for Android smartphone brands, aiming to challenge the iPhone in the premium market segment. He anticipates that smartphones featuring foldable designs and artificial intelligence capabilities will drive growth in China, with total shipments expected to rise by 3.1% this year to reach 279 million units. Unlike its competitors, Apple has not yet incorporated generative AI capabilities into its smartphones, a technology popularized by OpenAI's ChatGPT. The Cupertino-based company is anticipated to outline its AI strategy at its annual developers conference in June. Additionally, Apple is reportedly exploring a partnership with Baidu, a Chinese web search and AI leader, to integrate Baidu's Ernie chatbot into iPhones sold in China, as reported by The Wall Street Journal in March 2024. The struggle for dominance in China's smartphone market is not new. Over the last decade, the landscape has seen dramatic shifts. Initially dominated by international brands, local manufacturers like Huawei and Xiaomi have risen rapidly, boosted by favorable government policies and substantial investment in R and D. These brands have capitalized on the national push for technological self-reliance, increasingly edging out their foreign competitors in both technology and market share. This rise reflects broader trends in China's tech sector, where local companies are now leading in innovation, from 5G technology to AI applications, reshaping the global smartphone industry dynamics. According to Arthur Gu, senior research analyst at IDC China, despite losing ground to local brands in China's overall smartphone market, Apple maintained its lead in the premium segment, encompassing phones priced above 600 US dollars. However, its market share decreased to 58% in the March quarter, down from 70% in 2023. The decline can be attributed to economic challenges, in the world's second largest economy, which prompted consumers to consider budget-friendly options. Alongside competition from Huawei, its subsidiary Honor, and other domestic manufacturers, Huawei's share in the high-end market surged to 20% in the recent quarter, up from 12% a year earlier. Driven by robust demand for its 5G-enabled Mate 60 series, Gu noted, Honor also saw steady growth, achieving a 9% market share. Wang remarked that Huawei's resurgence has upset the market balance, noting that the company continues to encounter supply chain challenges that may hinder its expansion. On a global scale, 
Smartphone manufacturers collectively shipped 289 million units in the first quarter, reflecting a 7.8% year-on-year increase and sustaining a growth trend for the third consecutive quarter, as reported by IDC. As the smartphone market evolves, emerging technologies are set to play a decisive role in shaping future trends. Innovations such as AI integration, advanced camera systems, and enhanced connectivity features like 5G are becoming key differentiators. For instance, the integration of AI and smartphones is not just about enhancing user interfaces, but also about improving device management and energy efficiency, which could be critical in markets like China where consumers are highly tech-savvy and demand high performance. Additionally, the development of foldable technology indicates a shift towards more versatile and adaptable device designs, which could appeal to a new segment of consumers seeking both functionality and novelty. As Apple and Huawei navigate the competitive landscape, who emerged as the leader during China's massive 618 shopping festival, what strategies propelled them forward in this critical sales period? Stay tuned as we explore the intense competition and strategic maneuvers in the next segment. According to the latest data from CounterPoint Research, Huawei Technologies emerged as the standout performer in China's smartphone market during the recent mid-year 618 shopping festival. The company saw a significant 42.4% increase in sales throughout the month-long sales event starting May 20. CounterPoint attributed this surge to sustained high demand for Huawei's latest handset models, particularly from the Mate 60 and Pura 70 series, which feature chips made in China. Additionally, Huawei offered comparatively smaller discounts on prices compared to its main competitors, as reported by CounterPoint. In an effort to maintain its lead over Huawei, Apple implemented its most extensive discounts ever on iPhones in China, resulting in a 2.7% year-on-year increase in sales amidst heightened competition in the premium market segment. According to CounterPoint data, Apple ranked second in sales volume for the period, trailing Vivo and surpassing Honor, Xiaomi, and Huawei. The 618 Festival, China's second-largest shopping season after Singles Day, saw adjustments this year due to economic challenges. E-commerce platforms aim to attract more consumers by eliminating the traditional pre-sale phase and extending the promotional period, which concluded on June 20. According to CounterPoint, total smartphone sales volume during the 32-day period grew by 6.8% compared to the same period in 2023. The firm noted this performance signals a rebound in demand and forecasts low single-digit year-on-year growth for China's smartphone market in 2024. In contrast, Tech Insights provided a more cautious estimate, reporting a 2% decline in smartphone sales volume to 13.1 million units during the 618 festival. It anticipates the market to remain stagnant at 62.3 billion yuan, or 8.6 billion US dollars for the entire year. Tech Insights analyst Peng Peng noted in a report that slower growth in online shopping and the rapid ascent of live streaming e-commerce have diminished the appeal of traditional sales campaigns linked with shopping festivals among consumers. Peng highlighted concerns over China's economic slowdown, citing challenges in real estate and job markets that are curbing consumer spending. Despite Huawei's significant sales growth, Tech Insights reported that Apple maintained its top position in both sales volume and value during the period. According to Tech Insights data, Apple's iPhone 15 Pro and Pro Max have not only become the top-selling models in the 6,000 yuan price category, but have also led across all segments on JD.com, a prominent e-commerce platform. This underscores Apple's ongoing dominance in China's premium smartphone market, as noted by analyst Payne. Meanwhile, Huawei secured third place in terms of sales value, following Xiaomi, and is increasingly establishing itself as a significant competitor in the high-end smartphone market, according to Tech Insight's findings. Research firm analyses reported that China's major e-commerce platforms experienced a 13.6% year-on-year increase in gross merchandise value during the 618 shopping festival. However, many companies have ceased to disclose their individual sales figures for these large-scale shopping events. While Apple maintains its stronghold in China's premium smartphone market, the landscape is rapidly changing. Huawei and Honor are making significant strides, especially evident during the 618 shopping festival where their sales saw notable growth. Despite these challenges, Apple continues to lead in terms of overall value, showcasing the brand's enduring appeal. 
As the competition intensifies, it will be fascinating to see how each player adapts and evolves in their strategies to capture the attention and wallets of Chinese consumers. The ongoing battle for dominance in this crucial market promises to bring innovative developments and shifts in consumer preferences in the coming months. What do you think will be the next big move for Apple and Huawei in the high-stakes Chinese smartphone market? Feel free to share your thoughts and perspectives in the comments section below. Don't forget to become a part of the Revel Discovery community by hitting that subscribe button to stay informed about the latest technological advancements and innovations. Explore endless tech possibilities for an exciting future.